Hey there and welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you my experience why I moved away from WordPress and what I use instead today to build my websites. So if you are someone who's considering building a website or if you're struggling with WordPress at the moment, this video might give you some clarity. And please, this video is not for professional web designers or agencies who have been using WordPress their entire life. I know you guys love it, but this video is for beginners who are considering if they should use WordPress or or a website builder. So please, no comments from you. <laughs> this video is really not for you. So first off, who am I and why should you even bother listening to me? Hey, I'm Julian. I'm a YouTuber from Germany and I have a big channel in Germany on how to build your website. And I compare different tools like Wix, Shopify, WordPress, Squarespace, for example. And by doing so, I have built dozens of websites. And today I want to stop you from making the same mistakes I did when I started. Uh, speaking of starting, before we start, this video is not sponsored, but you will find all my links down in the description of this video to my favorite website builders. And if you at the end decide to go ahead with my recommendation, please feel free to use my link in the description because it helps me and my channel to grow because I get a little commission from the company making the website builder. So back in 2015, when my journey has started, I started with using WordPress because it has been around forever and everyone was talking about it on the internet. And I've built two websites with that. At the beginning, uh, it was conversion-gorilla.com. And this was a website for my agencies, um, for yeah, companies to optimize their conversion rate. And I still like it today. It looks good. It has a lot of blog posts down here and it's a fully functional WordPress site where people can contact me. And next I have been building travel-checklist.com and this is a pretty cool website when you are about to go on vacation. You can just check out the travel checklists here and then you can have a small to-do list what you are going to pack in your luggage for your journey. So these were the two sites I have been building with WordPress and by then it seemed like a fair choice because it gives you a lot of flexibility but this was exactly the point when the pain has started because all this flexibility comes with a lot of decisions you have to make and I will give you a little preview what you will encounter when you go down the WordPress route. Because once you start, you have to make decisions right from the get-go. First, you have to decide on your hosting and hosting companies, I don't know how many there are, but at least a hundred different hosting companies. Here are just the names of some big ones like Bluehost, Hostinger, HostGator, SiteGround and GoDaddy. And once you've made up your mind on what hosting company you want to go with, then of course they have different plans. They have a premium plan, they have a basic plan. And so you need to make another decision on what pricing you opt in for. And once you have done that and installed WordPress on your hosting server, then you need another theme. And the design theme is what builds the foundations for your website. This is what the visitor of your website will see. And there are also plenty of companies out there who give you different themes. There's even a website, a marketplace called Theme Forest. And so you can really get lost in there by choosing the right theme. There's Astra, Hello from Elementor. And at the beginning, of course, this is very confusing by now because you have all these hosting providers and you have all these different design theme options. And it can be very very challenging to choose from. And in order to make changes to the design theme, you need a page builder. And the biggest one is Elementor. A lot of you might have heard of it from advertisement. And WordPress even has its own page builder. It's called Gutenberg. But there's also BV Builder, Divi, uh, and so on. And to be fair, some of the themes come with their own page builder. For example, Hello is from Elementor. So you basically opt in for Elementor and then you use the Hello theme. And if you're good with math, you're already in business with four or five different companies. You have your hosting company, you have your domain company, you have your page builder, your theme, and you have WordPress. So you sign up for many different plans. I mean, to be fair, hosting companies also sell domains and page builder have their own themes but still you probably need at least three different offers from different companies to get your WordPress site up and running. So when I reached this point, I felt like this guy because it was very confusing and all these pricing options and all these newsletter campaigns you will get in your inbox. It's really a pain signing up for so many services. 
And when you have finally set everything up, then you will land in your dashboard from WordPress. And then you think, okay, now I can start building my site. But then there's something called plugins in WordPress. And this is another thing you need to consider because in order for your site to work, you need some plugins. For example, there is a form plugin. So if you want to have a proper contact form, you need a plugin to set some forms up on your website. Then there's a security plugin so you can prevent hackers from hacking your site. Then if you want to rank on Google, there's an SEO plugin for, for example, Yoast SEO. This is the most famous one. And if you want to have an online store, you need another plugin for that. For example, WooCommerce is very common. So I can say a proper WordPress site has somewhere between five and 10 different plugins. And again, these come from all different companies. They say they are for free and, and at the very rudimentary basics they are. But in the end, they also want to make money and want to sell you something. And therefore, they send you another email list. So that's very much a pain because you have to choose from all the plugins. Of course, there's not one SEO plugin. There are like 10 different ones. And you have to read blog posts on that. What's the best one, etc. And then you need to install it and see if there are some conflicts with other plugins you have installed already. And even if you want to have, for example, some email marketing, this doesn't come with WordPress. You need some, for example, MailChimp to set up email campaigns. So by now I haven't even uploaded one image to my website, but I already signed up for like 10 different services and I made all these decisions and it was really a pain. And now I find myself spending more time troubleshooting some conflicts between the plugins instead of building my website. And for all the professional web designers still watching me, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the WordPress experience when you start. It's very, very confusing and such a big pain for a beginner. And this is also why the WordPress tutorials you can see on YouTube are somewhat like, for example, this one is three hours, two hours, 45 minutes. And there's even a complete course which takes you eight hours through the journey of setting up your WordPress site. So I think I have made myself clear. It's very, very confusing and I hated it. And it took like four months for me to get good at it and to build my own sites here. And so when uh, around the 2020 years, I was about to build my next site. And I think there must be a better way to do that. And this is where the game changer came in, a website builder such as Wix. I'm still today using Wix. There are plenty of other website builders, but I think Wix is the best one for websites. As said, you will find the link down in the description. And now I will just make a small pitch why Wix is a better option. Because what we've seen on the WordPress side, we need to buy servers, we need to install WordPress, we need to buy our own domain, we need to install our themes, we need to put a page builder on the theme or on WordPress to make changes to the theme. And in order for the site to run properly, We need some SEO plugins, some backup plugins, some image optimizations. And if you, we want an online store or email campaign or bookings, we need to extra plugins or external service to make that happen. And now I let you in into my secret because you can get all this in one website builder. It's an all-in-one solution and it's called Wix.com. It's at the same time the biggest website builder out there and that's why they pretty much have every functionality what you have here on the WordPress site built in in their own system. And of course, it doesn't bring the same flexibility as all these services because you, you kind of bound with the options they provide. But for a small business or self-employed like me, This is perfect because you don't need a whole email marketing tool. You just want to send out newsletter campaigns and email funnels, and you can perfectly do that with Wix. So what can Wix do for you? First, it's an all-in-one solution, so you don't have to worry about your hosting. They have their own hosting and they have their own themes, which are for free. And to make it even easier for you, uh, you can also get your first domain for free for the first year. And it automatically runs the backups, so I don't even know why you need to do this with WordPress. They have their own SEO integration, so you can optimize for Google search. And they have the Wix app market, where you have online store functionalities, bookings, payments, online courses and you can even do email marketing and you even have your own chat windows on your site so people can send you a message via chat 
and you even have a forum. So when you have run your own co online course or membership site with Wix, you can have your own forum. So when I learned about that, this was my feeling. I was like, wow, this is good. I can do all that stuff. And this is where I started building my site. This is my new Wix site here, julianweber.com. It's in German, sorry, because I'm from Germany. Then I have a little quiz on how to build your website. I have all my tutorials in here and I even have my own blog posts here. So the blog is also built on Wix and I'm selling even my own course, a website coaching course, and I built the landing page with it. So everything is built with Wix. I put in testimonials here and I can sell my plan here so people can book it. And even the content from the course is built on Wix. So everything you see here, even the chat for the members is also built on Wix. And also the course material, if you go in and see the first chapter, this is how it looks like inside the course. And this is also all done and built with Wix. As you can tell by now, I'm a really big fan of Wix. There are, of course, plenty of other website builders out there. And yeah, speaking of learning curves, with WordPress, it really took me like four months to learn everything. It was such a pain. You make progress and then you fall back because you don't understand all the plugin setups uh, and maybe you booked one and then you want to get rid of it and then you learn a little bit more. And it really takes a long time to really master WordPress. And Wix is really... I don't know, in two or four days, you, you get the hang of it and you feel like, okay, I can do that. And so the learning curve is much more steep and then there's not really much more to learn about it. You get around Wix quite quickly. So under a week, you will be fine using Wix to build your website. And that is for me the big difference because the user experience with Wix is way better because in WordPress, this is just a content management system. They give it to you for free. So Of course, they have some paid option, but that's, I think, pretty much why nobody ever thought about making it easier for anyone, because having all these options at the beginning is such a pain. And another selling point for me was the flexibility of Wix, because they have a true drag and drop website editor, so you can really go into the site and really drag any text, any picture, anywhere. You can change all the colors upload your own videos. So um, it all works in the front end. And with WordPress, you do have to work in the back end sometimes. I know some page builders like Elementor also allow you to work in the front end, but it's highly confusing to, to even understand how the system is built. And Wix just makes it easy for you. And of course, you can argue WordPress gives you a lot more flexibility. You can choose your own design themes. You can choose your e own email provider. You can choose anything you want and put it in there. But this was for me so confusing at the beginning. And uh, to be honest, I just want the website. I don't want to be a professional WordPress designer. I just wanted to, a website for my business and uh, for my online course. And this is complicated enough, I would say, to just launch your own website and your own online course and write content about it. So you really don't want to bother with all these options. And that's why I would highly recommend you not starting with WordPress. I can recommend you starting with Wix because this is what I use, but feel free, use anything else, Shopify for online shops or Squarespace or Web, uh, Webflow is also complicated, but any basic website builder or hosting or even, uh, you will f also find some videos about that on my channel. But yeah, I think Wix is the premium one. And if you want to try it out now, I do have the link down in the description. It's a free trial link, so you can just sign up via email here and then uh, you can start everything for free choose the right template for you and then starting your website and i promise you it won't take you longer than a week and if you don't believe me feel free to, to to use wordpress and then come back to this video and tell me about your experience in the comments but i think uh, yeah it's not a good option for beginners and not for small businesses who just want a website yeah thank you for listening if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and we see us in the next video bye